Before we start today's vlog, I quickly want to say that Follow the Action is giving away a Mojo Muskie St. Croix rod. They're giving away a rod, and all you guys have to do is be subscribed to my channel and send in visual proof to their Instagram, at follow the action, or info at follow the action.com. Their email, info at follow the action.com. If you guys enter through their Instagram, all the rules are right there as well. It's the same rules, just a little bit different besides tagging the three friends on Instagram. But if you guys are watching this video right now, subscribe to my channel, send in visual proof, and the winner will be announced on my channel on April 10th, 2020. Thank you guys so much for the support, and let's start the vlog. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of McGrath Fishing. Today we're gonna to be cooking, as you guys saw on the last episode of me and Jake doing the venison cook, we use this hardcore carnivore. This seasoning is absolutely amazing. This is for the steak. So we got a filet mignon right here and then we got a wild caught king salmon. Not, I actually caught it, store bought, but you guys get the point. So I'm gonna be doing the fish in the oven and then I'm gonna be grilling the steak, but using this seasoning. They're an awesome company. I never promote something on my channel that I don't actually believe in myself, as in St. Croix Rods, Daiwa, this seasoning, follow the action. I mean, when I bring up like Nelk or Danny Duncan, it's the people and the products that I truly like, that I truly like represent. I get a lot of stuff in the mail like that people send to me, and it's not that I don't like them, it's just I haven't tried them, so I'm not gonna promote something to you guys that I don't believe in myself. So I'm gonna season these up, and we're gonna get cooking. All right, so you're in the last Catch and Cook video. <laughs> You're in the venison one. Uh-huh. Are you excited for this one? Yeah. So what would you give the venison? Oh, the venison is always so good. So we're using the same seasoning, that hardcore carnivore black. We got filet mignon and wild caught king salmon. And this is wild caught too. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of Cajun. I know I'm obsessed with the Cajun with the fish, but I'm just gonna season a little bit. And then this is just to give it like the actual flavor that I really want, but then this one is called Amplify. It's a meat-based flavor booster. To use, use Amplify on its own as finishing powder or in conjunction with your favorite rub or an extra boost of savory flavor. And then I'm gonna use a paper towel to like dab it, kind of rub it in. All right, so I'm gonna flip it and do the other side. So a trick of the trade of doing fish with skin on, it actually holds the flavor in, but then when you bake it, you're not actually eating the skin. You're just pulling it off when it's cooked, it comes off so easy if you just kind of like take a fork, spatula, whatever you're using, and it literally just comes right off the skin. But the skin like holds that flavor in and makes it taste a lot better, but. Look how silver this salmon is. Perfect, this was definitely caught like summertime. When these king salmon go into like the harbors and go in, like these salmon actually die. So when you catch them in the summer, they are silver. So then when they move in the harbor, they get super brown, super gross, and that's when you do not want to eat them. Again, I didn't catch this salmon, but this is wild caught, and I just know that you're supposed to eat them when they're like all silver. You don't want to eat them when they're brown, or like they literally start turning zombie and like get super disgusting. The grill is on. I'm going to put this. I have butter in this pan just because I don't want to touch it because I want it to touch the steak. I'm just going to go like this. Now I'm going to take this half lemon right here. All right, so this is all seasoned up. The oven is at temperature. I'm doing 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm just gonna kind of watch it. All right, so now for the hardcore black steak and meat seasoning. It kind of gives it like that charcoal taste in a way too. It's super good. So you can see nice and dark, I'm gonna pat it. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it. Coat this side super good. This seasoning literally smells amazing. We're gonna add just a little bit of this. All right, so I think the grill's up to temperature if you wanna follow me outside. All right, so we're gonna cook this. A few minutes on each side, probably like seven, eight minutes each side. It's pretty thick. I did butterfly this filet. So we're gonna give this a few minutes on this side and then I'm gonna flip it. And then this one should definitely be done quicker than the fish. But this is gonna be like a nice little surf and turf. I'm super hungry and this is gonna be super good. So this side right here is super thin because I kind of butterflied it like an idiot. So I might actually have to cut this and get that piece off only because it's super thin. 
That is looking super good though. The smell of the seasoning is like perfect. It smells so good. I am so hungry. Filet mignon, surf and turf, 2020. All right, so I'm gonna cut this up in just little pieces. That other thick piece, like I said, I kind of filleted it or butterflied it like an idiot. The first bite of the filet mignon. Amazing as always. I will say it's really good, but the venison was definitely better. But again, that was like seared and then baked in the oven. Just like, just like the presentation was a lot better and venison is super good. Filet mignon obviously is really good, but I just think that the venison tasted better with that seasoning. All right guys, we're gonna see if this fish is flaky. The surf and turf, complete. As you guys can see that, that skin is coming right off. So I could really just peel it off, but I'm just gonna eat right on top of it. And I got a nice little surf and turf going, guys. I got some fresh king salmon. The seasoning on both of them is honestly amazing. Like, I really don't know which one's better. Like I said, I do like this seasoning better on venison, but it's actually really good on the filet mignon. And then so for the, the yellow seasoning, the flavor booster, it definitely gives it like that kick flavor. And not like spicy, but just like, like a good potent flavor. I don't know, I think it's really good. Got the nice lemon water. I'm definitely gonna have to do a catch and cook with the king salmon. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to go out with Spencer or what I'm gonna do, but I definitely need to do this. Like a live catch and cook. So the smaller pieces that I cooked or pulled off the grill earlier, those are kind of like more medium well. And then the thicker pieces when I pulled up, when I pull them off later, these are actually like pretty much medium. Hands down, this is some top notch seasoning. I'm honestly obsessed with it. I was obsessed with it in that last video with the venison and that's why I got it. But both of them are super good. If it wasn't good, I honestly wouldn't be eating it. I have no idea why I'm cutting with this huge knife. I'm gonna give this really fatty piece to the dogs. Kaya? Coda! Good boy. The meat and the fish, I don't know if you guys can see that, literally just falls right off the skin. So it's not like I'm eating the skin or anything. I hope you guys just saw that. You might have actually saw that. Well, I am full. That is gonna wrap up this little cooking video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was definitely something different, something new to the channel, but if we're always doing this off camera, I figured I wanna include it in the videos because I'm all, I feel like I'm pretty natural on camera and like who you see on camera is pretty much who I am in person. Like I, not pretty much, like that's who I am. That's like why I've been including like the vlogs and just like the random other stuff because I figured I'd mix it up. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thanks to Jake for watching and guys, new videos every Tuesday Tuesday and Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Be there. Thank you guys so much for the support. We're out.